brother Gavard Yesha Allah from uh, McAbee. We're coming to you from McAbee TV. We actually in New York City. Uh, besides me, I have uh, my a brother, but a legend, <laughs> and one of the founding members and founding elders of the the original uh, ISUPK, the Israeli Church of Universal Project Knowledge. This is the non our elder. My brother, Lahab. How are we doing, brother? Hey, how you doing, brother? Okay, so, you know, it, it, I know you and I have been talking for a long time mm -hmm. in the phone where we've been meeting to sit down and talk and, and, and set up this meeting. It's just my schedule, your schedule. Mm -hmm. We was not able to uh, uh, put it together. Uh, but for those that don't know you, especially mm -hmm. the, the young folks mm -hmm. that don't, you know, they hear about the seven heads and the, the seven major elders that first started at IUSPK. Clearly you was there and you was... Uh, in the beginning, in the infant state of, of establishing the church. For mm -hmm. those that don't know you, uh, just a quick brief history, you know, where were you born? Uh, uh, a little bit about yourself, I guess. All right, yeah. Um, I was born uh, uh, in the South, right? Mm -hmm. In North Carolina, then my okay. family moved to Virginia, right? Okay. And then out of Virginia, uh, there was an unction that came unto me that I was coming to New York. Mm -hmm. And so when I got to New York uh, as a teenager, mm -hmm. Um, the spirit was searching for the truth okay. about our people because that was the time of the civil rights movement. Okay. And uh, everybody was trying to figure out, you know, uh, what happened to the black man? How did he lose his power? Okay. How did he get in this situation on the planet Earth? Okay. How did he end up like this? Okay. How old were you at this time when you began to ask these questions? Um, I was, a, I was a teenager. I, I must have been about uh, 14 to 15. Mm, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because the, the, the movement was active then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is back in, in the, the 60s. 60s. Yeah. Okay. So everything was very active in America. Okay. Yeah. And so you had to be in a certain consciousness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to paying attention to what's going on. Okay. In this country, right? Okay. So, um, and then um, uh, my family came to New York. Okay. And um, then I was yet searching. Mm. So one day uh, in my in my 20s, I was walking down. Um, 42nd Street, mm -hmm. and then I walked on down to 44th Street. Okay. And I ran into some brothers speaking about what happened to the black man. Okay. Uh, what happened to the black man in America? How did he get in this condition, right? Mm -hmm. So I ran into the brothers uh, from this school, right? Mm -hmm. And they were speaking about we broke the laws of God. That's okay. why we're in captivity. Okay. And I was stunned. Okay. So you remember what? How old were you? I'm, I'm, I must have been, if I can remember right, uh, I, I, I'm going on 69 now, so... Okay. You look young, I don't know what you're eating, I want to know. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, I must have been 25, hmm. 26, okay. Uh, okay. in that area. Okay. Right. Um, and they were talking about all this striving in America about hmm. the black man and this and that, hmm. right? And I had been searching... Too right. Okay. Uh, since a teenager. Okay. About this question, why do we lose our power? What happened to us? Mm -hmm. And that day on Forty Fourth and Broadway, they were teaching that we broke the laws of God. Okay. And it was like I was shocked. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. I was froze. Okay. I couldn't move. Okay. So I stood there. Okay. All day. Mm -hmm. And it was like lightning coming at me. Okay. They were teaching about the laws we broke. That we were the Israelites. What happened? The history of Israel. Okay. They were running. I was shocked. Mm. I was stunned. And the spirit says, step right in here. Mm. You know, the spiritual consciousness okay. says, step in here, okay? And this was in Harlem or in New York? This, this was on 44th and Broadway. 44th and Broadway. Right, okay. yeah. Okay. And uh, so I stepped up to the brother and asked one of the brothers, where's the school? Mm -hmm. Where's the school at? And they would teach. They said, we're talking to you. I said, where's the school at? <laughs> Listen, man, where is the school at, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because you know, the Spirit already had me on a mission. Yeah. Like I told you about yeah. my Instagram, yeah. I was already on a mission, you right? You already had a mission for such a... Yeah, so uh, he gave me a flyer. Mm -hmm. I said, well, when are the classes? So he began to explain to me when are the classes. I went up there the same day. Wow. So, okay. so I went up there, and I met uh, the brothers up there, mm -hmm. Yai Kwab, uh, okay. Aria Basha and them. And this is uh, one west on 125th Street. One west on 125th Street, right? Okay. So then they start. Then we then we start getting going to the classes, right? Okay. Where I start getting in depth in the history. Okay. Well, what really, what nation we were, okay. the history, and the ancient records of the black man. Okay. That was called a so-called Negro in America. Okay. That he really was uh, an Israelite. Okay. And then the twelve tribes of Israel. 
So the 12 tribe chart was already established when you came in, or that was still? Yeah, they had that. They, they had that. Yeah, okay. they had the, they okay. had that board out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I what saw, year? This was like in the early 70s. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it was very early on. They yeah. Have, okay. Yes. Okay. So um, so I sit in the classes, mm -hmm. and I, I made every class when okay. I was there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because now I'm inspired. Yeah. Because uh, that vision I was telling you about, right, mm -hmm. was now opening up to me. Yeah. That the truth was coming now. Okay. This is. Because I had, I had searched out um, uh, the Muslims mm -hmm. and the spirits and all. So yeah. the Muslim was big that time. Yeah, Michael yeah, Max and the, so. exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the spirits and all. Okay. These these are not the people. This is not the truth. Okay. Uh, so uh, that day on Forty Second Street, the spirits and all. This is it. Okay. You step in here, mm -hmm. and see, I'm I'm is uh, is one thing I've learned about myself, right? Mm -hmm. That my consciousness is guided by the spirit. Mm -hmm. So I move on those notes. Yeah, that's how I move. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, So I went to the classes and sit and learn and I was amazed <laughs> I, could have, I remember those feelings too. <laughs> I was amazed yeah. man. Yeah. I said, oh, this is this is it This is great. Mm -hmm. And then what was so astonishing about it all mm -hmm. is that God was giving us back the kingdom again mm -hmm. That was astonishing that we're gonna get the kingdom back. We're gonna have uh, our lands back, mm -hmm. our inheritance back. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have our wealth back. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have our beautiful women, mm -hmm. and understanding that mm -hmm. God was gonna beautify the people and reestablish mm -hmm. them in their health and strength. Okay. And reestablish these people again in a righteous order, in a okay. righteous government. So at this time, because since you was part of the seven heads that would eventually establish, I, I think the first person I met was Yaiqua. Yaiqua. Okay. And then. Uh, uh, who was the father of Arya? Yes. Okay. And okay. then Arya. And Arya. Okay. And and then I met Masha. Masha. Okay. Uh, I think because the, the, the periods of classes. Yeah. I think Masha used to come in on the Sabbath classes. Okay. And then I met him that following, a few days later. Okay. So um, Masha and them came to me one day and said, him and Arya, they said, listen, Hob, uh, we're gonna put you in this position. I said mm -hmm. no, because these other brothers have been here before me, mm -hmm. and. Uh, they looked at me, <laughs> mm -hmm. they said, no, we're going to put you in this position, okay? We're teaching that, that Negroes, Western, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Mexicans, Indians in America are the Israelites, are the real Jews. Now I'm going to ask you, what are you Negroes in America teaching? We're teaching that the Negroes in this country are the real Jews. What are you Negroes in America teaching? What are you teaching? What are all you different rap groups teaching? What are all your ministers and your preachers teaching? Because in the Bible, it tells you that the Negroes are the real Jews. So what was your title? What was your your, your first responsibility as, as someone that uh, had a position? In, 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 uh, the, the first the responsibility was uh, to try to continue the ministry, right? Mm -hmm. And try to bring the brothers uh, into a more orderly state, yeah. a state of understanding, okay. uh, uh, you know, which is uh, really spiritual discipline, yeah. understanding, yeah. you know, that they, you got to put down this fighting okay. and this bickering okay. <laughs> that's going on here, yeah. uh, because uh, the leadership was trying to get a movement going, okay. and they had all these other young cats, you know, with the squabbles, okay. you know what I'm saying? So at that time... How big was the group? Was it uh, more uh, than thirty, less than thirty, more than a hundred? Was uh, what, what would? How big was this group back then? Yeah, see, um, it, it 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 was just beginning. It was just beginning. It was just a it was a pioneering stage. Mm -hmm. It was just beginning. Mm -hmm. And you hear well, story about uh, Abba Bibbins and his his uh, yeah, struggles. Yeah, Marshall and they told me about him. Okay, that they okay. came from him. Okay, they came from on the Bibbins, right? Okay. Uh, but I never met Bibbins. Okay. I never, I never, I never seen him. Okay. Uh, so uh, I never got to meet him. Okay. Uh, okay. And deal with him. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but they did uh, tell me about they came out of his group. They, okay, came yeah. out of his group. Okay. Yeah. In your mid twenties now, uh, they said, "Listen, we want you to be in this position to bring bring order into mm -hmm. the into the body." So what 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 you begin to do in, in that you know that position? Well, in other words, it was basically about you know handling going out and speaking, okay, and going out and teaching, mm -hmm. and so I was in a position during that time that I could go out, mm -hmm. we could go out, I could go out during the week with them, okay, uh, and I could go out during the week with Aria, okay. So I was in that type of position, right? Okay, and to uh, uh, so all the other brothers then ended up. Uh, under me because okay. of the order that they set up, right? Okay. So I want to know where did you black 
Afro-American teachers, and where did you other black people that's teaching knowledge in America, where in the hell did you get your knowledge from, man? Because this Bible is the records of all mankind. The scripture says, if they speak not according to this book, and according to the testimonies, and according to the law, there's no truth in them. In other words, what are we saying? You so-called Negroes in New York, your history is found in the Bible. And so, so I had to constantly minister uh, the reality of understanding the righteousness of God, the discipline, mm -hmm. and understand that you know you can't be smoking dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't be uh, arguing and fighting with yourself mm -hmm. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that's what I experienced when I first got there. Okay. There was a lot of arguing and fighting among the brothers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't understand that. Yeah. You got all this information, man. Do you understand what you yeah. got here? But in the reality, they were young men. Yeah. These yeah. were young guys. Yeah. Yeah, in their in their twenties. Okay. Uh, 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 so you know, it was a fairly new church, fairly yeah. new church, few years, and, and, and with young people. Yeah, people young, young, together. young guys. Uh, okay, and but you, you was pretty young yourself. So yeah, how? Yeah. I mean, did that how that affected your personal life? Were you married? With uh, uh, did your wife want to kill you, or she was with you? Well, what, that affected your personal life uh, dealing with a difficult first, you know, church getting started from the, from the ground up. How how that affected your personal life? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I was married. Okay. And so uh, uh, my my wife was with me, right? Okay. Uh, and then as we moved on, right, mm -hmm. as I as I as I moved on, I began to like distance myself. Okay. Because I see that uh, because now I was in, I had come to full circle now. Okay. With what I had been searching for from a teenager. Okay. The knowledge of who we really were. Okay. And and the, the, the glory of these people, mm -hmm. of the 12 tribes of Israel, mm -hmm. that these people, this, this is not just anybody. Okay. These are the actual sons and daughters of God. Yeah. So that was totally exciting. Okay, of course. And then to study the scriptures and to understand how the Father felt about Israel mm. compared to the other nations. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was another very highlight okay. that the Father meant business with this nation. Mm -hmm. he, he wanted this nation to be his glory Mm -hmm. and to manifest his wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. But there's a great battle that's been fought against Israel. Mm -hmm. And this is something that um, a lot of Israelites have never understood. That's mm -hmm. why I want to go into the part about me and the leadership. Okay. Uh, so so let, 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 let's go there. So mm -hmm. you, you're in the leadership now. Um, at this time, with Ishaya and Kazak, would they uh, begin to, because I know Ishaya came in around 75? I believe okay. that he came in. Did you uh, what time did he shire begin to come in? And also being been also put or then as an elder there as well. So that's the way they had it set up, right? Okay. So okay. now, but after I went on in the gospel, right? After okay. I learned the history in a few yeah. years, because I was there, I think about close to 18, 20 years, right? Okay. Uh, okay. So, but I was growing in the knowledge. Okay. Because as you see now, dealing with the scriptures, you can see now is a growing process. Yeah. You begin to grow. Okay. And your consciousness begins to come to a higher level in the scriptures. Okay. And understanding what God is saying. Okay. So, because we were dealing with the Pharisaical order. Yeah. Which is the Old Testament. Yeah. Uh, that standard. Yeah. Of the Passover, the High Holy Days, mm -hmm. those traditions. Mm -hmm. But then, in my in my studying, mm -hmm. uh, the Spirit led me into the studying of the Gospel. Okay. Uh, so now. So Christ enters the picture now in my mm -hmm. life, right, mm -hmm. on a much higher level. Okay. I was I was learning about Christ in the Old Testament mm -hmm. and in the New Testament, right. Okay. But now the Spirit has entered into on a higher level now. Okay. Of consciousness. Okay. About Christ. Okay. And the Spirit was showing me that Christ is the King of Israel. Yeah. Okay. Not no other Israelite. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the Transfiguration, when God came into the Transfiguration yeah. with uh, Elijah and Moses, yeah. the Father said, "Hear ye Him." Christ. Yeah. Moses represented the old uh, 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 testament. Okay. Elijah re represented the old prophet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The top, the two top brothers. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to have their place in the kingdom. Okay. But now the king is here. Okay. So the question that came to me is, how can Christ be the king of Israel? Okay. And the Israelites not flow unto the king who has the power, mm -hmm. who is their resurrection. Yeah. Who died for their sins. Mm -hmm. How can they exalt another man as king in Israel? Mm -hmm. And you're referring to uh, my shop. Yeah, because okay. see what happened, the, the situation that fall out with me and them was, is that because now I'm well into the knowledge of the gospel now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of Christ so, now. Okay. Right. Okay. So I understand what the New Testament is talking about now. Okay. okay. So, 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 you, so when, when did the doctrine, and many people don't, don't know, you can maybe touch on this, it's not really in that uh, 
you were the pioneer of, the, of setting up the oil tables. Uh, and they called you, you was the one that was early there setting that up. Because you just touched briefly on that. Yeah, on well, the well, they were struggling. See, here, there, there was a lot of struggle going mm -hmm. on at that time, right? Mm -hmm. And brothers were coming into the organization, right? Yeah. You know, these brothers out in the street, out yeah. of the world. Yeah, yeah. You know how broken this nation yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so they were coming in borrowing money from Yaiqua, mm -hmm. borrowing money from me, mm -hmm. borrowing money from Ariya mm -hmm. and him and Masha and him, right? Mm -hmm. And it was a struggle, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, and and they're trying to help the brothers. We're yeah. trying to help the brothers. Mm -hmm. So one day Masha came to me and he said, uh, you know, we need to do something here mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. look at this situation, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Your man struggling. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, so I looked at it, right? Mm -hmm. And so now the spirit just said to me, let's, let's, let's gather the officers together. Okay. All the top officers just running these camps. Yeah. Okay. So I, everything I did, I got approval from them. Mm -hmm. So he said, okay, gather them together. Mm -hmm. I said, let's deal with this situation mm -hmm. because we gonna end up broken out the door. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> before we get started. <laughs> before yeah. we get started, man. Yeah. Yeah. If we don't deal with this issue right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was one of the situations. So I got together with mm -hmm. uh, the brothers uh, that were the top officers, mm -hmm. and we sat down, and we got together and formed Central Command. Mm -hmm. So Central Command now was responsible for dealing with the the financial operations. Yeah. In a sense. Yes. Uh, and that. Therefore, we gathered the brothers. Some brothers were dealing with oil tables, okay. so we gathered all the oil tables together okay. under Central Command. Okay. And then uh, a percentage of that would go to the leadership. To the leadership, right? To the church. You're right. And to the, the other, church. And the others percent would go to, and, the, to, the, to the man. Okay. Now that alleviated them borrowing money from the church. Yeah, creating jobs. Right. For them. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. So that alleviated a lot of stress on yeah. Yaikwab and Marshanim. Mm -hmm. uh, for these brothers coming, a lot of people don't know this, right? Yeah. You know, what was really happening in internal circles mm -hmm. of Israel. Okay. Okay, so so it started moving. Yeah. Then it started moving and then growing. Then other brothers started coming in and they mm -hmm. saw what was happening. Mm -hmm. Then... Um, and this will be a way for the brothers to make a living. Right. And, and, and learn how to support themselves. Right, right, right. Okay. So now I'm, I'm in a situation now where... You know, I'm really coming into more consciousness now, right? Mm -hmm. I'm really serving men here <laughs> mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, trying to, you know, raise money and all that. Mm -hmm. So there was also a cry for a bigger school. Yeah. So um, one of the brothers pointed out to us there was a building up on the corner, right, mm -hmm. that we could move into. Okay. So with the money that we was making from the oil tables, right, mm -hmm. we I started financing and building that school up there. The next school. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you ever saw it. The, I, because we moved, um, when uh, I moved, we we moved, I was there from uh, 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 1 West 125th Street to 1941 Madison. Yeah, right. Uh, but I know between that, there was an, another school. Yeah, yeah, up on the corner, right. In the corner, yeah. Uh, that one I never, I never yeah, went yeah. to. So, yeah, yeah. So we invested money in that, mm -hmm. replenished the place okay. and everything, and, and made it nice yeah. and beautiful. I remember the news when you left. Mm -hmm. I remember briefly about Lahab mm -hmm. um, and things of that nature. But at that time, the doctrine of that uh, Abba Bibbins mm -hmm. was uh, John the Baptist, mm -hmm. uh, was already established. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Marshak was King Mo, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, King David, mm -hmm. uh, and I think also he was Peter. Yeah, I think yeah, so as yeah, well. Yeah. Because yeah, Peter, they, were, they were pushing that, right? Yeah, because Peter was uh, since he was the head of the church, mm -hmm. and he's from the tribe of Judah. He was, yeah. they were kind of bringing that out that mm -hmm. he will be king in, in the future as well. Yeah. Um, this this concept about mm -hmm. Marsha being King David, right, mm -hmm. was was being. Uh, Brought forth by R.E.R., right? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, 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 very seriously, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 serious on a serious level. A few years before I left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. On a serious level. On a serious and level. Uh, but it was it was still on, it was underground or, uh, or among the elders. Yeah. It was oh, okay. it, it was uh, it it was being uh, voiced also. I uh, I think to some of the. Uh, the camp leaders. The camp leaders, but yeah. not not uh, uh, because I remember being in the Manhattan Center, and mm -hmm. 
uh, 2000, I'm sorry, not 2000, 95 or 96. Mm -hmm. And I remember that password because that's when uh, one of the Boys to Men, or two of the Boys to Men uh, group mm -hmm. uh, stars, uh, the Boys to Men group, yeah. uh, became Israelites. And that was, I re always remember that because of that. Yeah. And I remember they, and it was uh, 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 R.E.R., mm -hmm. uh, making an announcement, thanking everybody for coming and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature, and announcing Marsha. As, uh, as King David. When they brought that to me, right, for mm -hmm. me to swear that okay. he was king. Oh, so they actually to swear? Yeah, to make an oath under him. Okay? So, uh, I, by that time, I was well established in the gospel. Yeah. Not to make Christ says, swear not to make any oaths. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 swear not by heaven or by earth. Okay. Okay, so now, and and I was well established in the gospel. Okay. So I knew who the king of Israel was. Yeah. So now, I, I, t I tested a moment. I said, listen, Christ is king. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not king, man. Mm. And I'm not bowing down to you. Mm. Uh, Christ is the king of Israel. Mm. From where I was sitting at mm -hmm. in, in, in Israel, right, mm -hmm. uh, this is something that him and R.R. R. was working with. Okay. Okay. And for to make the brother sway unto that and mm -hmm. agree to that, then he must agree to it. He had to agree to it that they're going to make everybody agree to it. Okay, so Ariel was pushing this the most, but he agreed with it. Because yeah, he so, so he was a part of it. Yeah. You know, he wanted that glory. Mm -hmm. But that glory belongs to Christ, man, mm -hmm. because in the New Testament, the Father has showed, gave, showed us who the king is. Mm -hmm. We have a mighty and powerful king mm -hmm. that can resurrect the dead, mm -hmm. uh, heal the sick, mm -hmm. cast out demons, establish you in the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. because in the final analysis in the gospel what Christ was telling Israel was that um, your vile body shall be changed into my glorious body mm -hmm. I'm looking for that king yeah. mm -hmm. I'm not looking for no earthly king man mm -hmm. what are you talking about mm -hmm. we Israelites the Bible is telling you who the king of Israel is mm -hmm. so you tell you want me to swear uh, that uh, this man is king no yeah. I won't do that yeah so what I did right I went back and talked the gospel in mm -hmm. my I used to have the like the Monday class. Yeah. So I'm gonna make talk talk the gospel, right? Mm -hmm. And they videoed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they called me the next day and told me not to come back. Mm. Okay. So that's what happened. Mm. They saw me teaching about Christ, as Christ was king, mm -hmm. and was preaching the gospel, right? Uh to the brothers, right? Mm -hmm. And this offended them. Mm. And then so what I heard, right? Then I then I because I knew what I was going up against, right? Mm -hmm. And uh I knew I was leaving, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So this is, the, and uh, see, this is a lot of things that these young brothers don't know. I already yeah. knew that I was leaving mm -hmm. uh, this organization mm -hmm. because of the way it was going mm -hmm. and the way we're teaching the Bible. Mm -hmm. Out there cursing the women out, mm -hmm. hating the women of Israel, mm -hmm. and uh, God told Israel this, right? Mm -hmm. The leaders of my people cause the people to error. Mm -hmm. God said, I would not charge your wives or your daughters with whoredom when they commit whoredom. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so in meaning this, it's a very cowardly thing, man, mm -hmm. to uh, uh, condemn the women for this, right, mm -hmm. when we were in charge. Mm -hmm. if, if we'd have kept the laws of God, the women would have flowed in that. Mm -hmm. The women, we was in charge. Yeah. We had the power. Mm -hmm. Okay, what the women going to say against the armies of David and the armies of Israel? Mm -hmm. They would have been in order mm -hmm. if we'd have kept the laws of God. So we broke the laws, now we want to blame the woman. Mm -hmm. And this blame game, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to all you brothers, man, that you have to man up and deal with reality because we were given the, the rulership in Jerusalem. The men of Israel, and all you brothers, righteous brothers, you understand this. And all you righteous brothers, you know that Christ is the king of Israel. And all you righteous brothers, you know that every man that exalts himself shall be a base. You know that. The scriptures tell you that plainly. But this... Younger generation, right, mm -hmm. wants to run and they want to, they think this is some kind of game or some kind mm -hmm. of fantasy. Mm -hmm. And they get a, if you get a kick out of cursing people out, then mm -hmm. there's something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When God is, when God is telling Israel about love, Christ, what did Christ tell Israel? To walk in the spirit of love. Mm -hmm. And Christ said this to them. He said, listen, in the book of Romans, be not wise in thy own conceit. Mm -hmm. For darkness in part has happened to Israel until the fulfillment mm -hmm. of the Gentiles come in. Mm -hmm. But all Israel shall be saved as it is written. Mm -hmm. And a lot of brothers, they can't comprehend that. Mm -hmm. And they taught that old doctrine that you're going to kill two-thirds of Israel. That's mm -hmm. a lie. 
That's an old doctrine mm -hmm. that, 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 that was going to be fought against Israel in 70 AD when the nation was destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. In 70 AD. And they thought that it shows that they don't know Christ. Mm -hmm. See, this, this word is a serious business at mm -hmm. because we're going to all be judged about the New Testament. Mm -hmm. The New Testament is a battleground. Mm -hmm. The Old Testament is the knowledge of the history of our people mm -hmm. and our genealogy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Christ said he nailed the law to the cross. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, in, in other words... Christ said this, the Father sent Christ to take up the stumbling blocks out of the way of Israel. Mm -hmm. The stumbling block was the law. Mm -hmm. They could not, they, 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 they did not keep the Passover correctly. Mm -hmm. They did not keep the high holy days correctly, mm -hmm. the Sabbath. So God said, listen, okay, we're going to put you under grace for that, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those laws are going to be established when Christ established the kingdom again. But for now, in this earthly body that you're in, yeah, yeah. we're putting this nation under grace. They said, no. Mm -hmm. How you how how you gonna say you can save us, Christ, if we don't keep the day of atonement? How, mm -hmm. how, what are you talking about, man? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say kill him. What do you? We don't believe that. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about changing the Passover? We don't believe that. Kill him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they rose up to kill him, but they don't understand in the book of Hebrews, right? Mm -hmm. Or the seventh chapter, mm -hmm. Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. Now you're Melchizedek stepped up on the scene, mm -hmm. right? Because Christ was coming to take the priesthood away. From Levitical. the Levitical priesthood. Yeah. Okay, he's he's taking over the priesthood. They didn't understand that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They didn't understand that the prince was coming to take over the priesthood. Yeah. Well, listen, Christ is the king, right? Mm -hmm. We have no more foolish kings in Israel no more. Mm -hmm. No more foolish rules. Yeah. No more foolish councils. Yeah. Now we only got wisdom. Yeah. Now we can go forth as a nation now, yeah. man. Because now I come in the bottom of the book. Yeah. yeah. Now we got the wise man in the gate now. Yeah. Okay. In other words, the teaching is incorrect. Mm -hmm. The Israelites were supposed to be taught of the love of God. Mm -hmm. And Christ was the brother, the image mm -hmm. that the Father sent. Okay, now, you see, you see my son? Mm -hmm. Hear ye him. Mm -hmm. he is, he's your image now. He's a son mm -hmm. that I love. Him. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, I ain't talking about Moses. I'm not talking about Elijah. I'm mm -hmm. talking about him. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, when I heard that, I was clear. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> no, it was, I was I was straight then. Yeah. So yeah. no man could turn me now. Yeah, yeah. Because I know who the king is now. Yeah, yeah. I know who I know who I'm laying down my life for. Yeah, yeah. And I knew I was laying down my life to do that. Mm -hmm. Because they came up with all kind of evil lies that mm -hmm. he stole this, he did that, right? Mm -hmm. And when I left um, uh, 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 Israel, I think I had five hundred dollars in my pocket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But God was good, man, yeah, yeah. because I knew who I served. Mm -hmm. I had faith in God. Amen. And I, and I feared no man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard the threats, mm -hmm. all the threats. But if they don't repent, mm -hmm. because God said that every idle word you speak, man, mm -hmm. uh, you shall give account of in the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. To speak against the truth, to speak against Christ, and to speak against the brothers that is teaching about Christ. Mm -hmm. They're speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're going to be dealt with. So it, it's, ser it's serious business, right? And, 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 and saying that, land back now on what you said, what what do you think it's going to take, given that you've been doing this for now close to over 50 years now, going uh, close to running, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, at least 40, mm -hmm. and um, you've been seeing, there's there, there's so much camp out there, uh, you know, a new camp rises every, every day. Almost. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, and now I think it's because... Uh, you know, when I was coming up, and of course you was coming up, there was no YouTube. There was no these uh, right. ways to, uh, you know, if you was not in One West, 125th Street, right. you didn't get this information. Right. You know, if you was not in the church, you you know, it, it, the, the accessibility was very narrow. Mm -hmm. You had to physically be in a place. And now, uh, because of the YouTube uh, generation, everybody mm -hmm. could just Google right. all the lessons. Right, right. And, and see different camps and just figure mm. things out on their own and, and become a priest, you know, overnight. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> it, you know. Exactly. Uh, uh, and, and I think that's what's been damaged with Israel. Uh, yeah. I think um, uh, lack of elders, of the uh, respect for the elders. Right. I think uh, yes. for those that, that they pay the way. Right. Um, you know, I think to some degree uh, you are a rarity in regards of eldership. Because, you know, what I'm seeing is, is that all the elders that came from your generation, they're still what I consider with the old leaven. Mm -hmm. Come under me, come under me, come under yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. If it's under me, it's mm -hmm. not real, you right. know, things of that nature. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you are really a, a reality in regards to that, that, that uh, you know, you know, it's not about you, it's about Christ. Right, right. Follow him. Right. So, 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 yeah, because all the brothers that I deal with, I set them free. Mm -hmm. Okay. I show them that. Uh, they said, no, you're an elder, Lahab. I said, no, I'm just a brother. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just a brother, right? Mm -hmm. That uh, And now what the Lord has showed me, 
I, out of my experience mm -hmm. in life and dealing mm -hmm. with the world, dealing with people, mm -hmm. I can share my experiences with you. Amen. And I can show you what I've learned in the scriptures, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm just a brother. Mm -hmm. And so don't don't come with me, put no titles on me okay. or the elders. So they deal with me like that, okay. right? Okay. And I said, my job and what I've learned as being a brother is to set you free. Mm -hmm. it, that Christ is your king. Mm -hmm. I'm not over you. Mm -hmm. Ain't no brothers on the earth over you. Mm -hmm. You got to seek God yourself. Mm -hmm. And mean you got to have that relationship. You got to be there in God. God made you, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't make you. Mm -hmm. So how can a man look to um, uh, another man, right, mm -hmm. instead of looking to his God, man, mm -hmm. that made him? Because nobody knows. You have a lot of brothers walking around here, right, mm -hmm. the positions and the gifts that God has given you mm -hmm. or the gifts that God has given to other brothers mm -hmm. out there. And all these brothers out there talking about rank, right, mm -hmm. that was a major mistake. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, you have to take the walk with Christ. Mm -hmm. And Christ told Peter and him, uh, 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 John and his brother asked Christ, listen, uh, can we sit on your right hand and your left hand, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Christ looked at them and said, do you know what you said, man? Mm -hmm. He said, listen, it's not mine to give. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. He could not sit them. You know what is sitting on the left hand and right, right? Mm -hmm. Total power zones. Mm -hmm. Those two seats on the left hand and right of Christ. Mm -hmm. Total power seats. Mm -hmm. So look what they were asking for. Mm -hmm. You see what they were asking for? Mm -hmm. So Christ said, them, it's not mine to give. Mm -hmm. Okay? But it's given to them of my father. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. He couldn't even give away a seat in the yeah. kingdom, man. Yeah. So how man on the earth, what scriptures are they reading? Mm -hmm. Okay, but here's what's going on, right? See, uh, when I was in Israel, right, you know what I saw? Mm -hmm. In my experience, I gained a lot of knowledge. Oh, okay. man. That was a great experience for me. Yeah. A great learning, brother. Yeah, yeah. Because I got to see men. Mm -hmm. In their different forms and their psychology, mm -hmm. in their different conducts and behavior, mm -hmm. in their different way they were operating, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Uh, so now, so a lot of these young brothers, man, they're coming in there like coming off the street and, you know, and then they get in, it's like a gang, you know, yeah. and, yeah. and uh, you, yeah. yeah, you know, we're, this is a gang. They, they're not really in there for the reality of what these scriptures are talking about. Because yeah, yeah. you can tell by how they conduct themselves on YouTube. Yeah. And they're screaming and hollering. They're not in there for that reason, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a gang, a camaraderie, right? Mm -hmm. and, and to mock other people mm -hmm. and to make mockery, man. You mocking people in the world that God created, mm -hmm. you don't know what you're doing to yourself because God said the same judgment that you met shall be shall come upon you. So this God is just. The mm -hmm. Father is just. The Father's not playing with this foolish Israelite spirit that this gang thugged out spirit yeah. is going to be totally taken down. Mm -hmm. We come into the time. So you ask me a question, right? What do I think is going to happen? Yeah, what needs to happen to change? What, what, what is it happens? Is it going to change? Yeah. Uh, God told Israel, right, that you, you shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, right? Mm -hmm. With great, great, great uh, uh, contentions. Mm -hmm. So the contention is going to go on. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Now, all the ones that's in the continue, con the contending against the gospel, right? Mm -hmm. Now, God said that them that obey not the gospel shall be destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. You ain't got no part with me. If you don't mm -hmm. obey this gospel mm -hmm. and you didn't receive me as your king mm -hmm. and you brothers that didn't want to love, mm -hmm. and which the Israelites need to love above all people. Yeah. They crying, they being abused by Esau, mm -hmm. being shot down in the street, yeah, yeah. abused poverty mm -hmm. and here's what God did when Christ came into Jerusalem right this is what God did God sent Christ to show Israel listen okay he told Israel listen I'm your father mm -hmm. I love you with everlasting love okay I'm sending Christ to die for your sins okay we're gonna give you back the kingdom mm -hmm. here here's the kingdom Israel take and then what did Christ say them that believe he transformed them into the kingdom of God while he was there Mm -hmm. Them that believe they were transformed spiritually, yet they were on the earth, right? Mm -hmm. But spiritually, I means spiritually, their name was up on, they spiritually up on the rosters in the kingdom of heaven now. Mm -hmm. Okay, because what, what Israel didn't understand Christ was doing, Christ came to give Israel the kingdom of heaven. The Father sent Christ to give Israel the kingdom yeah. of heaven yeah. and set them as leaders and rulers in this kingdom yeah. with Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, but what they didn't understand it. To enter into this kingdom, what the scriptures say the bride made herself ready, right? Mm -hmm. That uh, the bridegroom is coming. Mm -hmm. And what they didn't understand that if, you go, if you're going to have a marriage right, mm -hmm. your wife got to love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. If this is a wedding, then your wife must love you. Yeah. And this is what God was showing Israel. To love the Lord that God with all your heart, 
Why? Mm -hmm. Because they first loved us. They're giving us the kingdom of heaven, man. Yeah. They're making us into gods again. Yeah. They're making us into the image of Christ, which is the image of the Father. Yeah, yeah. Christ is in the image of the Father. Yeah, yeah. They're making us, the angels now are one with us. Mm -hmm. Okay? The, the, the angels said, don't bow to me no more. Mm -hmm. For I'm your brother, man. Do you yeah. see what God is doing? Yeah, yeah. You, you Israelites are being given the divine kingdom. Mm -hmm. and, and the Pharisees rejected. They said, come on, who, why hear you him? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Kill him, man. Mm -hmm. And they sought to kill him. They said he changed the laws that Moses gave us. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Because Christ took over the priesthood of the Mosaic priesthood. Moses is not over that priesthood no more. Yeah. But what right. God did, he broke down the 12 tribes, yeah. right, and put them in 144,000. Mm -hmm. So that's the way that now. Mm -hmm. You got uh, the Levites, mm -hmm. 12,000 out of them, 12,000 out of Judah. Mm -hmm. So all the 12 tribes have a representative, uh, representative in the height. This is the ecclesiastical body of the kingdom of heaven now. Yeah. Okay, with yeah. the Father in Christ now. Yeah, and Moses and, prophesied that there was going to be a prophet coming. Yeah. Like unto me, hear ye him. Right, hear yeah. you him. Yeah, so he, he said, you know, saying... Uh, I'm teaching you this now, but he's, there's going to be a new prophet. That he, I'm going to pass the baton to, to pass the, the next order, right. uh, which is Christ. Right, right. So which is Christ. Perfect sense, yeah. and, 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 and which is the kingdom of heaven. And what they don't understand is God called all the brothers of Israel to love mm -hmm. because the spiritual vibration that's coming from God is love. Mm -hmm. We are of that order. Mm -hmm. But and they have not figured out what order they are. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Shall, if you cursing brothers out and slandering brothers, mm -hmm. then you are antichrist. Yeah. Let's just deal with it, okay? Because mm -hmm. Christ said this right: there were many antichrists in Israel while He was there. Yeah. There was opposing the gospel. Yeah. So if you hate an Israelite, you excuse me, mm -hmm. you are antichrist. Mm -hmm. If you hate the, the sisters of Israel, and, and, and what you must understand is right: the women of Israel are the daughters of God. Mm -hmm. God said. He going to raise up this nation. Mm -hmm. He going to raise up the women. Mm -hmm. He going to bring the women with child, mm -hmm. with children. Yeah. He going to beautify. And another thing, they don't teach this right. Mm -hmm. They don't teach that God going to beautify the men of Israel again. Mm -hmm. Put them back in their manly, beautiful, mm -hmm. godly state. Mm -hmm. And he going to put the women back in their beautiful, godly state. Yeah. Now, the women going, the, the men are the princes of the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. of Israel. Mm -hmm. And the women are the princesses of that kingdom. Mm -hmm. So look what, look what, that's why God checked me mm -hmm. on the street. He said, look, I, we, I don't want you cursing these women out. Mm -hmm. Okay, the spirit checked me in that. Mm -hmm. Now don't follow this spirit that they're dealing with. God said he created us, right, to manifest Christ's image. Mm -hmm. Just let me say it clearly. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. That we were created. And what is Christ's image? Christ said it's the simplicity that's in Christ. Mm -hmm. To walk in love and understanding with each other. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's as simple as it is. Well, sometimes too simple for our people. But <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so go ahead. So, so, so you left uh, 94. Yeah. Uh, so, what you been doing ever since? Uh, what's the latest <laughs> with the Lahab? What's the... Uh, what you've been doing in, in your walk with Christ, you've been, you know, you studied the ministry, you studied it. What, what you've been doing? Well, you? well, when I left, right, when mm -hmm. I left, uh, I, uh, I, I fasted, right? Mm -hmm. I fasted for 12 days. Okay. Uh, just water. Okay. And prayed to God, right? Okay. And repented for my sins mm -hmm. and my part in that organization. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then, uh, because, uh, Understanding Christ, right? Mm -hmm. or the Israelites are supposed to be in communication with Christ mm -hmm. and the Father. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to pray for directions and guidance from them. Mm -hmm. Christ came in and leveled the playing field and showed everybody where the power, where to focus at. Mm -hmm. Focus on Christ and the Father. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so now, um, so I sit down in the Spirit. So brothers were gathering with me, you know? Okay. Well, they were okay. gathering with me and... And meeting and talking, right? So a lot of brothers, some brothers left with you. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So they were gathering with me and they okay. were teaching and all that. And so, but we still weren't getting anywhere, right? Okay. It's still confusion okay. in the scripture. So the Spirit said, I'll put everybody out. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay. You're going to sit down and we, you're going you're gonna to study these scriptures yourself. Mm -hmm. You're going to study these scriptures and we're going to deal with you spiritually, okay? okay. We're going to read it, study it, and we're going to bring it up. Okay. okay, we're so going to show you what this book is talking about. So you okay. decide, okay, let me stop and yeah. then you just focus on me and re rebuild. Re yeah, let me deal with God now. Okay. So the Spirit, okay. the Spirit said, now, no, you deal, with, you deal with the Father in Christ. We're okay. going to deal with you, okay? okay? So you sit down and study the Scriptures, mm -hmm. okay? And study the Gospel, mm -hmm. okay? And the Spirit said, now, and, and when that organization breaks, breaks out, mm -hmm. you'll be to show them the way home. Mm -hmm. You'll be to show them which direction to go. Mm -hmm. And the direction is the gospel. Mm -hmm. That's the battleground. They made the battleground uh, UBK and all that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They made the battleground the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. But the battleground is where Christ was at. 
the gospel. That's the gospel. That's the battleground for the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They made it another battle. Okay. That's why Christ said, uh, and was told uh, Peter and them and Paul and them that if they bring not this gospel mm -hmm. unto your house, don't even let them in. Mm -hmm. Because the gospel is where it's at. Mm -hmm. That's 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 the that is the new and living way. Mm -hmm. And in the in the book of Peter's right, mm -hmm. it tells Israel, listen, that God has called us unto virtue and unto the divine nature. Mm -hmm. And to study the divine nature and the righteousness and the knowledge. Mm -hmm. See, when you become a son of God, you become an intelligent man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. the, the foolishness is over with. Mm -hmm. Because God's spirit is an intelligent spirit. Mm -hmm. God's spirit is a spirit of judgment, wisdom, and knowledge. An intelligent spirit. Mm -hmm. So when you see a brother acting ignorant on YouTube and all that, we know, man, you don't know God. You don't know the God. You don't know. We know you don't know Christ. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because and another, and another reason, right, is this, right? God said this. All the sons that he chose, he chastised. Mm -hmm. So I was chastised. Mm -hmm. the, spirit, the spirit broke me. Mm -hmm. He said, listen, we're going to take all that stuff off you. Okay? okay. You're going to sit down and learn the gospel of Christ. Mm -hmm. you go, this, God said, I'm going to chastise you. I was mm. just. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, listen. God took. Yeah, yeah. We gonna get rid of the pride. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We 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 gonna get rid of, rid of all those bad habits. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we get through with you. Yeah. You're gonna be humble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be loving. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be kind. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be a brother of understanding. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be merciful. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna know how to teach the brothers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, then after that, right? Um, for years of sitting in that, right? Mm -hmm. About 10 years. Mm. Then a brother came to me and said, Lahab, listen, uh, we have these brothers, right? And he's, this is a difficult case. Mm -hmm. and he said, but they need someone uh, to teach them. Mm -hmm. They want to know, right? Mm -hmm. So he, he had a program already going, right? Okay. So he asked me when I come in on the program. Okay. So I said, yeah, uh, the, the spirit, <laughs> I'll tell you about the spirit, right? Mm -hmm. The spirit said, okay, step in right here, right? Okay. So I stepped in, right? Mm -hmm. And then I began to teach. Okay. Okay. And then the word began to move. Mm -hmm. And then other brothers uh, 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 start gathering under me. Okay. And uh, I saw certain brothers come. Okay. And they began to learn the gospel and teach the gospel also. Okay. okay. Uh, so, uh, and then we had the, the conference class. Okay. Where, uh, you know, because all the brothers, you can't gather them together. So yeah. we would gather on the conference classes, yeah. right? Okay. Uh, on the internet. Okay. And, uh, and that's how the classes ran. Okay. 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 And so a lot of uh, uh, the brothers gained the knowledge of the gospel. Mm -hmm. They gained the knowledge of the love of God and, and the sisters. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, uh, that's where we are today. Okay. Well, amen. Keep, yeah. Amen. You know, yeah. It, it's always a pleasure to, to, to have access to, you know, one of the pioneers and elders that, that, that was... Uh, yeah, I'm just a brother. You know, you're just a brother. But <laughs> hey, listen, I, 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 told him, I told him, listen, when they started the high priest, they don't call me no high priest, because I knew, right... That there was only, only one high priest. There's only one you high know, priest. I always had an issue with that. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, with that, with those <laughs> yeah. Titles, but, uh, yeah, but they know. laid it on me anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, you know, you know, one of the things that... Uh, also, you know, going back to doctrine, you know, one of the things that I saw that was also very damaging, uh, that uh, uh, the doctrine or the belief that Christ is coming for the year 2000, and mm -hmm. the reason why I believe that was a, a, a very damaging doctrine, mm -hmm. which, and I remember asking uh, Elder, uh, uh, Brother, uh, and Elder uh, Ariyah, mm -hmm. uh, because we understand, what, you know, the doctrine was that Christ is coming, that, uh, you know, and Hosea chapter 6, six that mm -hmm. after two days I will rise you up and mm -hmm. the third day you live in my sight right. and the thought that after the, the, the third day which is you know the, the third thousand year mm -hmm. uh, uh, that Christ will be risen and then he's you know he's certain those days for, for the elect's sake mm -hmm. so he said you know before the year 2000 mm -hmm. uh, but you know I, I asked uh, Elder uh, uh, Ariyah and I asked him well if he's coming on the third day, mm. we don't know, mm -hmm. which is a thousand years. Yeah. We don't know within the thousand years he is coming. Right. If he's showing this day, he, he, so he was planning to maybe come in, in the half. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's showing up maybe 200. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, uh, um, so he's... Uh, he looked at it and he said, well, you know, Christ said he's short in those days, so mm -hmm. he's coming mm -hmm. and things of that nature. And then, you know, there's always uh, always rumors of wars and mm -hmm. things of that nature, so he always, you know, leave it to that. Mm -hmm. But I think what I saw is that because Christ was coming, mm -hmm. 
it, it, it nothing, nothing, you know, nothing matters. Mm -hmm. uh, they just have a good time. You know, a lot of brothers messed up their credit, mm -hmm. bought expensive car they knew yeah. they couldn't uh, afford. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, the spirit of, uh, brother, you don't have to go to school. Mm -hmm. Just get a job because Christ is coming. He's going to deliver us. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that doctrine damaged the screw in a sense because it, it, it didn't give us a, 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 a very long plan Right. To fulfill well, what, what, it, what, what it manifests, yeah. it showed, it showed the, the, it manifested false prophecy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because what a, a lot of Israelites don't understand that we're under the, the Gregorian calendar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, of the Roman system. Yeah. And in the Roman system, right, mm -hmm. they changed a lot of dates, man. Yes. You don't know what day it is. They talk about keeping the Sabbath. You don't yeah. know what day you are in America, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he said it's Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gregorian calendar yeah. uh, was established in the Roman Catholic Church, and before yeah. the Gregorian calendar, they were changing the days before. Well, it got to that. It, it, it's, it's profound because uh, <laughs> uh, uh, other Ricard, my, my other from my church, he, he mentioned he did a, 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 a lesson. He did a thing called the Secret of the Times, mm -hmm. and he touched that that through the different parts of the of the Gregorian calendar, they took off uh, sometimes hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah exactly. They exactly. Added, they, they, so, uh, exactly. Uh, it was not a consistent thing. So exactly. we don't know what time. It is. Exactly. Yeah. So so so, uh, so they don't know what. Date it is. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and see, they got bogged down, right, in mm -hmm. in Israelite fables and relics. Mm -hmm. okay. See, the relics of, the, meaning this, uh, they think it's honorable with the menorah. Mm -hmm. They think it's honorable uh, the Passover mm -hmm. and the Day of Atonement. Mm -hmm. When Christ was the Passover of Israel, he mm -hmm. stepped in and was the Passover mm -hmm. for Israel. He stepped in and was the Day of Atonement mm -hmm. once and for all. Yeah. Your sins are done once and for all, Israel. You don't have to come back anymore mm -hmm. year after year yeah. to remember your sins. He yeah. told you that plainly yeah. in the New Testament. Yeah. But they want to carry on this old tradition mm -hmm. that was established in that old school, right? Mm -hmm. And they're under that vibration. They didn't break out yet. Okay. They, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't break out yet because you have to have the Spirit of God to get out. Okay. okay? And so this is a great problem, but here's the thing. Mm -hmm. They have the Old Testament and the New Testament. Okay. Why does Israel think it's called a New Testament? Mm -hmm. Because there's a New Testament that's given to the nation of Israel and a new requirement. A New Testament. The, the requirement, what is the requirement for the Israelites? The requirement for you, O Israel, is to walk in the love of God and walk in the righteousness one with another. That's all the Father requires. Mm -hmm. He that has done that has fulfilled the whole law. Mm -hmm. And they still don't understand that Christ nailed the law to the cross, took the stumbling blocks out of the way, said you're not under the law, you're under grace. They still don't understand what he was doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, God came to save us, mm -hmm. and, and they didn't want to be saved. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's one thing, uh, thing I want to say before you go, right? Mm -hmm. Christ said this to them, right? He said, they argued and crucified Christ, right? Mm -hmm. And Christ said this to them. He said, now they shall not know what belonged to their peace. Mm -hmm. Because when Christ stepped into Jerusalem, mm -hmm. uh, and when the angels were hurled him, mm -hmm. they stepped in and said, grace and peace be unto you. Mm -hmm. Meaning, man, that, the, the, that now peace has been made in heaven for you, Israel. Yeah. Peace has been made before the Father mm -hmm. and the holy angels with you now. Now you're straight. Amen. Okay? Mm -hmm. All you got to do is step in now to what we've always told you before mm -hmm. is the love of God. Amen. That's what you need to do. No, I can't. I, I can't. No, we can't hear that. Mm -hmm. No, this this is not us. That's too, uh, that's too simple. Yeah, that's too simple, right? <laughs> yeah. God came and gave Israel the kingdom. Rejected it. Mm -hmm. No, we don't believe you, Christ. Mm -hmm. That's 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 too simple. Yeah, we don't. And that, that's, excuse me. And that's why Christ said, the unbelieving. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Christ said, unbelieving, you have no part with me. If you don't believe mm -hmm. uh, that I'm your king, mm -hmm. and we were sent to give you the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. to raise you up as the lords and gods of this kingdom, mm -hmm. to raise your children up, your women up, and to set you. And, and as a matter of fact, Christ said, listen, he showed you, listen. The Father sent you to show you some parts about the kingdom. Mm -hmm. He said, in my Father's house are many mansions, right? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, for Israel, for you being the sons and daughters of God, you know, I don't want you living in apartments and living in the type of houses mm -hmm. you live in the earth. Mm -hmm. I want you to live in mansions. Mm -hmm. They don't mm -hmm. understand yeah, it. Yeah. They don't understand the glory of God unto them. Yeah. And that, and so now, I want to say this before you go, right? Israel say they are prince of the power, right? Mm -hmm. A prince of the power must be of the spirit of the prince of the power. Amen. Okay. A prince of the, what is a prince of the power? A prince of the power is a man. Christ showed what a prince of the power is. Mm -hmm. He fulfilled uh, the law in Israel. Yeah. A, prin a prince of the power is a prince of the laws of that princeship. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
The princeship is Christ, man. That's your princeship. Mm -hmm. If you don't understand that, Israel, this is time for you to learn it. Mm -hmm. That you're supposed to be a prince of Christ. A prince of the power is a prince of the knowledge of Christ, man. Mm -hmm. the Christ, well, yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, it's profound. Uh, I, I, you know, a uh, few weeks ago, there was a discussion uh, with uh, some of the New Testament brothers and some of the New Old Testament brothers. They're going to have a discussion whether Christ is the Messiah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a discussion that you know, whole Israel should have, you know, they're, they're, among the whole Israelite community, there are still some Israelites that don't believe in Christ and, and the only, you know, yeah, you know, exactly, right. Old, Old Testament uh, believers. And they're, not, they're all brothers too. We've got to give them the same, you know, love that they're Yeah, exactly, with exactly. Myself. Um, right. But this is, a, you know, uh, um, I think is the beginning of having these discussions. Right. Because I believe that even those that do believe in Christ, mm -hmm. I think we have to have a more discussion about what that means, believing in Christ. That's right. on Christ. Because right. uh, uh, I think the church of the Most High has not been yet manifest right. on earth. And we still have to start engaging and talking with one another. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, Christ said, wait on me. Mm -hmm. Wait till I rise up to the prey. I'm going to establish, I'm going to create the new heaven and new earth. Mm -hmm. God the Father and Christ are going to appoint who's going to be in the kingdom of God. Not no yeah. man on earth. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. all this, 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 this type of, of conduct and behavior mm -hmm. uh, that these Israelites are partaking in, mm -hmm. because to be a son of God, you must be a son of love. Yeah. Oh Israel, you must be a son of love to be uh, resurrected in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. You must put on the wedding garment. The wedding garment of the Father mm -hmm. is the love. love right. Okay, mm -hmm. you got to study the love. Yeah, yeah. So the Lord had me sit down and study it. <laughs> okay. Be a master of love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Study mercy. Yeah, yeah. Study kindness, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and study because the Israelites are supposed to be for the care of the people. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. supposed to be for the care of the women, man. Yeah, yeah. We we supposed to see what happened to the women. Mm -hmm. We supposed to see what happened to the brothers. Mm -hmm. Now, but God has given us the kingdom back through love. We're not mm -hmm. getting uh, not of works. Yeah. We're not getting mm -hmm. the kingdom back through works. We're getting the kingdom back because God loved us. Mm -hmm. Now he said, share that love one among another. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing that, then you're doing the right thing. But if you're not doing that, you're going to answer to the king because he's yeah. coming back as a lion of Judah, brother. Yeah. And this is going to be serious business, brother. Yeah. This is going to be serious business uh, to deny the love of God and to deny the gospel of Christ, O Israel. It's going to be serious business to your soul and spirit. And God told the, Israel, the Pharisees mm. before he left, he said, uh, he told them, many be standing here that shall not taste death till I come. Meaning mm. those Pharisees that opposed him, mm -hmm. he was going to destroy them when he came. Mm. He, he left them with that word. Mm -hmm. And he told them, you of your father the devil, man. Mm -hmm. Meaning you didn't want the love. Mm -hmm. All men must want the love of God. Mm -hmm. All men must want the love for their own people. Mm -hmm. For the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. Because they're the children of God. Yeah. God has showed you who these people are. Amen. You cannot oppose these people, man. Mm -hmm. God, what did God say? Even in the ancient records, mm -hmm. he told the prophets, tell Israel I redeemed them. Mm -hmm. They're already redeemed. Mm -hmm. Even before Christ came and fulfilled the blood sacrifice mm -hmm. for himself to redeem them, in the books of Isaiah, mm -hmm. uh, he said, tell Israel I redeemed them. Mm -hmm. Because that's the plan. Mm -hmm. The plan was Israel was going to go into captivity we, 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 we oppose God, man. Mm. We said, we oh. blaspheme God, well, man. It's, you know, what it's, we did to God, man, is, listen, listen it's, a, yeah. it's astonishing that we're not in hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's astonishing that we're not in hell by roasting now, man, yeah, yeah. what we did to the living God. Mm -hmm. But God said, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm your father. Yeah, yeah. He said, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm your father, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, listen, I turned my back for a moment, okay? I just, yeah, I mean, but, you go, but that moment was painful, brother. It was, was. That moment, we lost and, everything. And it's still painful. It's still painful, man. <laughs> yeah. That moment was a painful mm -hmm. moment, right? And now you're going to have some Israelite thugged out brothers, right? Mm -hmm. And this, this new... This new, this new generation of Israelites. Mm -hmm. Oh man, what did Christ, what did Christ say? In in, in the end times, mm -hmm. uh, they should be disrespected to elders. Mm -hmm. They should be disrespectful to the truth. Mm -hmm. They should they should be disrespectful to the brotherhood. Mm -hmm. And that's what you see. Mm -hmm. You where are the men of Israel of love? Mm -hmm. Because meaning this, what Christ came to teach is that uh, you we're supposed to receive the love of God. A man must understand that you want love. You want to be loved. Mm -hmm. You want your women to be loved. Mm -hmm. You want your children to be loved. Mm -hmm. You want your, your, your tribe to be loved. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. who, who are these men? What are you teaching? What are you saying out there, Israel? Mm -hmm. But now you have, a, you have a chance to repent. But I'm telling you as a brother, man, that God said on this path, man, uh, years ago, that if you brothers don't step into the gospel of love and righteousness and deal with the New Testament, the New Testament is the battleground. 
The Old Testament is the history of our nation and why we ended up in the captivity and the laws that we broke. But now Christ came to bring the new and living way that he that walketh in the love uh, is a part of the kingdom of God. He, Christ said, he that have not my spirit is not a mine. Mm -hmm. So Christ came to show what the spirit was. Mm -hmm. And the spirit was love. And they can't handle it. So now this is the situation that the nation is in. And I, I, I chose to follow the king mm -hmm. because I know who Christ is, man. Can no man on earth give me nothing. Amen. <laughs> I, I, want the, I want the blessings of the kingdom of heaven, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for no earthly treasures. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for no earthly positions. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to establish myself as a high priest in this earth, man. Mm -hmm. God said, he that exhausts himself shall be a base. I'm looking to, I'm, because what Israel don't understand, we're still in the judgment. You ain't out yet. Mm -hmm. They run around talking and boasting and cussing people out. Mm -hmm. I got news for you, brother. You ain't out of this judgment yet. Also, Elder, you know, I wanted to touch on, I was involved a few months back, almost eight months, seven months now, uh, with a um, a discussion with Egyptologists, mm -hmm. Egyptologists, and, and, and that uh, movement is growing in, yeah. in, within the African American community, so called. Mm -hmm. um, and um, many of the young people are gravitating to uh, Egyptology, saying that the Bible stolen from Kemet and it's mm -hmm. stolen from the walls of Kemet, and 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 uh, you know uh, that's really. Uh, where black people should be mm -hmm. uh, in, in things that nature. Can you touch on the on the Egyptology movement? You know, if you if you've been following it, uh, on um, it and, and how dangerous can it be? Well, that that comes out of see. What's, here's what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. There's a great warfare in the spiritual world that's mm -hmm. going on, right? And mm -hmm. I just want to say this, right? That this in the spiritual world, what your Israelites must understand, they do not want you to return back to Christ. They do not want you to get you your king where your power source is at. Mm -hmm. They do not want you to get to the love. So there's a lot of Edomites, right, mm -hmm. that are spearing a lot of doctrines mm -hmm. and publishing a lot of doctrines on the YouTube okay. and also communicating to a lot of people okay. to put in uh, these philosophies, yeah. even in the church systems. Okay. okay? And this is coming from a group of Edomites okay. Okay, that have taught these brothers these certain doctrines. Okay. They've gone down to Africa okay. and they brought these doctrines back to uh, America, right? Okay. Because it's spiritual warfare. I see. See, it, it, this is a spiritual warfare. You have the you have the brothers that are in Christ who know who the King is, right? Mm -hmm. And then, but the thing is to tear down everything Christ said, mm -hmm. to to destroy and, and and slander the brothers that are up for Christ. Yeah. To to anything that's about the gospel of truth, destroy it. Yeah, yeah. This is where this is at. Christ told them, "You wrestle not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places." Mm -hmm. So what Christ did for Peter and him in that day, right? Mm -hmm. He said, "Listen." I'm going to give you the power to cast out devils. Mm. So one day Christ was dealing with the disciples, and he said, I see Satan falling from heaven like lightning. Because mm. what was going on now, because mm -hmm. Peter never was winning the war, right? Yeah. Because they were casting the demons out of the people. Mm. Uh, now, let's, let's take a look at Peter, right? Mm -hmm. Peter, Christ told Peter that he was going to the cross, right? Yeah. So uh, Peter looked at Christ and said, for, Lord, far be it to just be done unto you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So Christ looked back at Peter, right? He said, get behind me, Satan, right? Mm -hmm. Because, meaning he knew where it came from, see? Yeah, yeah. 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 He wasn't really looking at Peter. He was looking at Satan. <laughs> <laughs> but he, yeah, yeah. but he, he looked and moved because if Christ didn't go to the cross, right, mm -hmm. the, the kingdom for Israel was over with. Yeah. Okay? That's what Israelites must understand. Mm -hmm. Christ laid down his life, man, that we get the kingdom. Mm -hmm. If he hadn't went to the cross, we could forget it. Mm -hmm. Period. Okay? Mm -hmm. And even at the, in his last hour in the Garden of Gethsemane, the spirit was on him, right? Mm -hmm. Because what you got to understand about the flesh, when the strength in the flesh begins to diminish, confidence also begins to diminish. Mm -hmm. Faith begins to diminish. So he was weakened by these demons in the Garden of Gethsemane, right? Mm -hmm. And he prayed to God, it would be possible to take this cup from me, right? Mm -hmm. Because now they're working on his mind. These forces, mm -hmm. see, and, and a lot of people don't understand the warfare Christ was in. Mm -hmm. In the spiritual world, mm -hmm. what was released upon him? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why he said, now I got all victory mm -hmm. of all powers there. He went into the grave, but here's what happened, right? He prayed, mm -hmm. to show you he was weakened, right? Mm -hmm. The angels came and strengthened him, mm -hmm. see? Mm -hmm. Because he was being taken down spiritually, mm -hmm. man, on a spiritual level, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to a lot of men, and uh, that's what's happening to a lot of Israelites. Mm -hmm. That's in the pharisaical doctrine. You're being mm -hmm. taken down, man, you don't even realize it. Mm -hmm. You're being taken from your king, man, and you don't even realize it. They, they, they handing you all kind of doctrines. You need to read the gospel, Israel. The gospel is a battleground for you. That is a way for you. That is the only way out of this for you. Mm -hmm. Not Egypt, not Egyptology, not the Pharisees, but the gospel of Christ. You need to study that. All you Israelite brothers, you need to 
Just move yourself from people and study the gospel yourself. It's plain. Easy to read. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's what all Israel need to do is read the gospel of Christ yourself. If you deny Christ, let me be clear with you this night, O Israel. You have denied your place in the kingdom of heaven. Understand what you're doing. Thank you once again, my friend, my brother, right, an elder. I don't care. <laughs> he brother. is the elder of the community. He, he, uh, he, he paid his way to, to be called right. an elder. So and I'll say grace and peace to all the brothers and sisters that love Christ. And all you brothers that are struggling in your knowledge, you must gain the knowledge of the gospel of Christ, man. That is the door. You must enter into that door, brother, and prepare yourself for the coming of Christ. Uh, grace and peace. Amen.